Hi, my name is Simon Schur. And I'm Jeremy Lesniak. And we're here to introduce you to a really cool game that we've put together. It's called... Kicks. Kicks. <laughs> now, this game is a cross between, uh, I guess, like a, a dance-off challenge and horse. The whole idea is that you challenge your friends to different kicking martial arts combinations that they can't do. And if they can do it, they can do a technique and challenge you to something that they think you might not be able to do. And you go back and forth until one of you completes the <laughs> kick. And if you do, that's not a good thing. That means you're out. So you've got a room full of martial arts students and you're teaching a class. You can use this game to help drill your students. One of the variations that we were discussing is uh, suppose you have all your students in line, you're at the front of your class. Uh, you can present your whole class with a combination and then the whole class has to perform the combination. If a single student or a couple of students are unable to perform the combination the first time, they have to sit down, they're out. And then you continue giving combinations, getting more and more complicated, until you get your whole class out. Kind of like Simon Says uh, meets Dance Off. Right. Uh, and uh, you keep going until your whole class is out, or one is remaining who you can't get out and you run out of time. So right. that's, that's one variation of the game that you can play with your class. You could split a class up into pairs, and they could play against each other. That way people are getting a little bit more repetition. Of course, you probably aren't going to get that with a younger crowd. Yeah, so you'd probably have to do that with like, you know, higher belts, like yeah. green, brown, red belts, black yeah, belts. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of chaos going on and you want to make sure that it's controlled yeah. chaos. So pair them off and uh, they play this game with each other back sure. and forth, the same way we're doing it. Sure. So you have a group of seven students. Student number one will come out, perform a technique. The rest of the class will do it. If any of them are unable to do the technique the first time, that person gets a letter. Then another person, student number two, will come up and become the challenger. And then the whole class performs student number two's technique. And if any students uh, are unable to complete that challenge, then they'll get a letter. And you'll go, all the, you'll go down the line until all the students have been the challenger. And then all the students will be the challenger again. They'll get another turn until all the students but one have all the letters, K-S-E-K-S. And then that student will be the winner. Uh, we had a lot of fun putting this together. Uh, we, uh, we start the game by, uh, by throwing out a challenge. You know, uh, I challenge you to a game of kicks. Yeah, well, let's do it. All right. Then we bow, because uh, we're martial artists and we're always courteous. Right. And then uh, we pound it, because we're cool. And uh, then uh, we're going to play rock, paper, scissors, so he goes first. And hey, I got uh, scissors beats paper. So I challenge you to a lead leg double round kick. I think I got this. All right, go for it. Oh, nice. See how you do with a double round kick, finishing with a side kick, spinning back around. Which leg? Your rear leg. It is important to specify which leg you're going to use so that uh, if your opponent uses the wrong leg, then they don't get the shot. Even if they perform really good kicks, if you say a rear leg, double round kick, side kick, and they do a lead leg, double round kick, side kick, it doesn't count. Now let's take this up a notch. We're going to do a lead leg, double round kick, put the foot down, Take off of both legs, jump spinning side kick, and land on both feet. All right, yeah. give it a shot. Very nice, you did it. Nice. Woohoo, up high. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pull this out of my capoeira background. Uh oh. Bandera. It's Portuguese for Dera. flat. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I, it was a good effort. Uh, nice yeah, I don't, I, don't nice th I don't think I made it. Uh, I bet if you did it again, you'd get it. But that's not uh, how the rules go. I get a K. I get a K. Even if I don't succeed in the attempt, the turn goes back to me. All right, so I challenge you to do a lead leg side kick sliding forward and a lead leg hook kick without putting your foot down, fading backwards. Ooh, that fade. Yeah. You might have me on that fade. I'll give it a shot. Ho oh, oh, ho! Uh -uh. This time, axe kick off the lead leg without putting your foot down, spinning crescent kick. Same leg. That's a doozy. All right. I think I got this. Ready? Nice. That felt good. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this up about 10 more notches here. We're going to go Ten nuclear. Notches. nuclear now. With the back leg, okay. a front kick, without putting it down, round kick, side kick, hook kick, back kick, and still without putting it down, a twist kick with the same leg. That's a lot of kicks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give it a shot. All right. I'll try it. Oh. Oh, so close, man. So close. That twist kick is not my friend. I'll have to work on that. You now have the letter I. Mm. This time, eight round kicks, roundhouse kicks, turning kicks, 
without putting your foot down. Traveling in a circle. That's easy. Let's see. All right, ready? Bam! Ah. You made that look pretty easy. Hey, you know, when, uh, when you're this, this handsome, you know. Well, you know. So I'm gonna take your same challenge, I'm gonna raise you a little bit. We're gonna right. do the eight round kicks in a circle. Okay. But this time you have to alternate the position of your foot from a pointed to a flex, like this. Mm. Point flex, point flex, point flex. Okay. Flex, point flex. Kicking it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. All right, let's try it. Let's see right. how this goes. Give it a shot. Okay, I think I got it. Oh yeah, that was, mm. that was nice. That felt good. Uh, We're gonna take that same concept, twist it up a little bit, same eight round kicks, traveling in a circle, but this time we're gonna alternate between a low kick and a high kick, starting with a low kick. All right, let's see. That is impressive. All right, here's my shot, ready? All right. Oh, dude, I did high-low. You said low-high. I guess I now have an eye as well. Mm. Actually, both in the key club. Yeah, hey. Kamehameha. <laughs> All right, that's my turn now. I'm gonna go lead leg, side kick high, side kick middle, side kick low, without putting it down. When you do the side high, your lead hand is going to punch. Oh. When you do the side middle, your lead hand is going to chop. When you do the side low, your lead hand is going to elbow. Mm. So high, middle, low, side kick, punch, chop, elbow as you kick. That sounded easy until you added the hands in there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nice try, nice try, you know. It looked good. If I had a second try at that, I think I'd have it. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So right. That's where the cookie crumbles. That's... All right. This time, starting off the back leg... All right. Roundhouse kick on a target. <laughs> Bring the foot up over it without putting it down. <laughs> Hook kick on the back side of it. Ooh. Both kicks have to make a good slapping noise on the target. Oh, dude, I wasn't paying attention. I did a hook kick first with the lead leg, and I went over. You were all kinds of confused. I got in your head on that one. I got to see. Turning round kick. Jump spinning heel kick but on the paddle. So you gotta be super accurate with, uh, with both kicks. That's it was right. nice, you, you went over the pad, so uh, you know, it, it was an accuracy, it was a good kick. I was still thinking of kicking over from the last one. That's what it was. That's, we're gonna blame that, that's what, that's what we'll say. Yeah. All right, this time, different equipment. I'm gonna get rid of the target. Put three kicking shields down on the ground, take a couple steps, jump over them while you're in there, double front kick, Ooh. landing on both feet. That's challenging. That felt good. The next one, I'm going to raise you another pad and challenge you the same technique. Four pads, couple of steps, jump, twin front kick. You're picking on me because I'm short, aren't you? I am. I don't like short people. Just kidding. Oh, you guys are man. cool. <laughs> no offense to short people out there. I'm going to do a cartwheel. The only hand that plants is the back hand. And as my body comes over, I'm going to throw a big sweeping axe kick. All right, I'm going to give this a shot. Ready? All right. Well, pretty that, good. It, it, it didn't feel right. It, uh, it felt like I did more of a crescent kick as I came down. Okay, I can I, see that. I don't think I can. But I, I, I can give it to you. I don't think I can take it. That's, no? So uh, I officially have kick. No. A little bit of self-monitoring and I think so. holding I yourself integrity, accountable. Yeah. In integrity, right? That's it's right. Integrity. Pretty important. I'm going to light a candle and blow it out with a side kick. It seems several notches up there. Yeah, hey, you know, counts now, right? It matters. Right. I mean, we're, we're, we're down. We're down to the end. Neck the next and one, neck. We're the next one that misses, I, I can't let you, you All right. know, make me hold a kick over my leg for... 30 seconds or whatever crazy stuff you do. I gotta, I gotta, Ooh. I gotta pull it out. Nice hey. one. All right, shoot, I just got Nice. Nice job. Felt good. Going to uh, take a, a card from my, uh, my sparring card game, uh, Sparring Face Off. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna tape it to Bob's mouth. You have to do a lead leg round kick on the card. Then after the round kick, without putting your leg down, you have to grab the card between your toes and you have to place it in your partner's hand Back of the card, up. You're kidding, right? Nope. That was close. Oh, I, you know? You were, was, you were close, but was, you know... Uh, it was almost there. You, you almost got there. everything, but then uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't take your own little uh, yeah, raising you know, I, I shouldn't have done that in the first place. I, uh -huh. I, I, I jinxed myself. Yep. This is Jeremy Lesniak. My name is Simon Schur. Thank you so much for watching this video on uh, the game we created uh, called Kicks. Uh, if you enjoy it, uh, please uh, check out other videos on my YouTube channel and uh, some really cool podcasts on uh, whistlekick.com. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe to uh, the channel that's posting this video and its links. 
And uh, yeah, share it around with your friends. We would love to see your version of uh, the Kicks game. So if you would uh, play this with your friends or at your, uh, your school, your dojo, or your dojang, your training hall, and uh, videotape it and uh, post it, we'd love to see it. And uh, don't forget to tag us.